guys, I'm Gagasita. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this beauty space where I just love to share with you my love for makeup. Can be old makeup, new makeup, every kind of makeup. Today I'm gonna share with you my makeup therapy. <laughs> You know when you have those really bad days, sometimes it just happens, you can do nothing about it. One thing that always makes me re-enjoy really the day is swatching a shadow. I don't know if I need to talk with a specialist about it. Yep, 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 yep. But it's something that just makes my heart happy. I love to see sparkly shadows unique math. I love to see them mixed and matched together. So I was thinking like, let's share this moment of makeup therapy with the people who watch my channel and at the same time rank my Beauty Bay 20 eyeshadow pan. I have to be honest with you, I'm suffering a little bit of FOMO. If you didn't know, FOMO is the fear of missing out because I didn't got the last Beauty Bay palette, the botanical one. <laughs> Not the colors, I love the, 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 the looks that the makeup artist created with that palette But I, I was like, should I don't because you're gonna see on my ranking I didn't really love the palette they launched before that one So I was like, should I spend 20 euros plus, plus 8 euros of shipping in a palette that I don't really know if I can love because I love the mats from Beauty Bay just have fun to work with them because they, at this moment they are really easy to be, they are really easy to blend together they are not the most beautiful eyeshadows ever but they are easy to blend so you know you can put one aside of the other and you're still gonna be able to create that beautiful watercolor effect you know that beautiful blend effect that you, you are not really able to do with a lot of those of other brands so it's a cheap brand that has really good mattes and I do love their shimmer formula in particular the more padded ones and lately they are kind of stopping on doing them because many people was saying that that kind, that kind of formula really crease on them and I am like yeah, it doesn't crease on me so why you don't give me at least one and so I was like should I buy should I don't and then I did and then now yeah oh, 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 I should really buy that palette <laughs> I don't know maybe it's my collector mind maybe it's Maybelline you we will never know let's talk about the palettes that I have here with me today we're gonna just talk about the 20 pan because I feel that Beauty Bay shines the most when it comes to color stories and formulas in their 20 pan eyeshadow palettes to combine this ranking with my therapy, which I'm gonna swatch for you my favorite matte and my favorite shimmer shadow in each and every one of the palettes, okay? So, in the last place, this is my Reckless Romance palette by Beauty Bay and this is the reason why I was toying so much with the idea of should I buy, should I don't of the botanical palette because I love the color sorry of this palette here and the masks are they make make me just true <laughs> so good so beautiful so stunning but the shimmers are a little bit lackluster and I was like I want something more sparkle and this wasn't a really give me that but my favorite matte in this part here is of course the shade Affair this one here I will try to do like Affair here and you can see it's your classic cherry color color I really should do a look using this one here now that I'm thinking about it 
and it's like you're too much brown in it it's a really pinkish red cherry oh, it's just yummy and yeah I, if I have to I will pick a shimmer but I have to be honest with you I didn't love a lot of the shimmers here I will say that my favorite shimmer is the shade girlfriend even though it's not and I love this kind of colors as inner corner all over the lid and I love these two colors together by the way next in rank it's another Valentine's Day palette this one here is the love notes palette and this palette here really feed me my hunger for sparkle because pretty much I have to be honest with you, I brought this palette pretty much just because I saw a lot of shimmers. The mattes are, this one here doesn't work on my skin, this one here doesn't show on my skin, this one here I can only use as inner corner highlighter, this one here I can only use as inner corner highlighter, so you can see a lot of their mattes here are not for my skin tone. But yeah, I still have some options. I will not be nye, nye, nye. I will not be here complaining because I still have some uh, really fun matte shades. But I brought this part here for the shimmer. In particular, my favorite shimmer was the shade Bellini. And even with all the ins that I own now, Bellini is still one of those colors that sometimes I am like. <gasps> Oh boy, I should really do a look with Bellini. And I should because I love it. So here we have Bellini. And as matte, we're gonna be strategic here. And we're gonna not be choosing this uh, warm tone matte or this reddish shade. We're gonna choose this wine purple shade because I love wine and these colors. This color is beautiful too. And again, can you see? Here we go. Yes. yes. I don't know why this palette is third to last because I love this palette. I feel it's just because I love all the other color stories more than this one here. But this one here is the Dark Fantasy palette. This one came out on Christmas time, which is completely no sense because this palette here to me screams Halloween. I'm sorry if you ask me which is your Halloween go-to palette. I will say this one here because this one here with this lime color here, it screams Halloween to me, okay? But I love all the colors here and even the neutrals in this part here are not boring neutrals even the neutrals in this part here are neutrals that you are like oh this is a beautiful neutral and I am talking about um, there are a lot of favorites of mine here but I will say that the colors that always let me oh, wow it's the shade algorithm and even though algorithm is more of a neutral kind of color it's the perfect caramel shade for my skin tone so I am always like Ooh, should I use this one here should I and uh, yeah it's one of my favorite neutrals and you can see why it's really beautiful and as shimmer I will combine this color here with I will say that the color I will say that the color Encrypt really feed my hunger for the sparkles. Even though it's a neutral shade, it's a neutral that is beautiful and unique. It's not a boring as neutral. The next palette, it's a palette that to me was so underrated. I feel that this palette never received the love it deserved because this palette here has a really, first of all, a really challenging color story and it's really fun and bright but still it's, I don't know, Beauty Bay always find a way to uh, make their colors work together and this color, this color story here really works somehow and this minty green here, it's so stunning and unique 
and this light baby blue here is so beautiful and unique too I love this pink I love a lot of colors and this color start with in this palette here and even it is hard to use all together as a color story all the colors are so yummy and beautiful and unique that to me it does deserve this place in this rank and the mask that I'm gonna swatch from this part here is the shade oh I'm gonna swatch this color here I love this color here because this color here it's my kind of matte which is a matte that it's not one or either it's like a blue and purple in the same time and it's really deep dark almost black but not but don't black it's so beautiful and unique and as shimmer I will swatch the color river deep here and I promise you even on my in this I don't have a color like this I don't know what's about this color it just make my heart beat as inner corner highlighter as all over the lid going to you know uh, cocktail time colors it's so beautiful it's so bright and fun and unique love it and then we have the first ever palette i tried by beauty bay this one is the age of opulent and every time i look at this color sorry i'm like oh that's me in a palette because i love all my jewel stones and all the neutrals here just make sense to the mattes and i feel that this part here is so underrated so underloved and if you have this one here please take it out it's time to make it to make space for her in your heart and if you don't, don't you worry it's already gone speak easy here because this shade here has a warmth that make this this kind of eggplant really unique and fun unique color i don't know if you can see and as shimmer i wanna go for this dual crown here this is one of those shades that you cannot tell if it's blue or purple in real life this color just kill it then in second place we have the wilderness my no pun left behind of this month and what can I, can I tell you? I love the heck all out of this part here. I love all the colors of this part here. So to me it was so obviously, so obvious and so easy to grab this one here because she's a stunner, but this color here, Marigold, made me think that they still think on my skin tone when they create a shadow because this one here it's the perfect matte to me and you can see it's the perfect ma ma uh, mustard to my skin tone it isn't too light too deep it is just a chef's kiss perfect and my favorite shimmer i feel that you can see <laughs> my favorite shimmer is the shade ray here don't crumble bitch and here we go ray it's a it's one of those colors that if you tell me oh yeah this one here was in a natasha denona palette i will trust you because this is how stunning this color is it became a little bit drier with time but that's not a big deal because it still really sparkle and fun i just use a little bit of a wet brush or a glitter glue and it still work on me and in my first position if you were really paying attention you already know that in my first position it's my new mood palette first of all first time i was able to go in a okay with my family i took this part with me so of course it has a really beautiful a really beautiful um memory uh, attacked to it but it's not just like that the first time i saw this color i was like oh yeah this 
actually doesn't make any sense but when I swatched the whole palette and I started to play it with it it was like oh yeah it seems a color story that I will create with my own um, single shadows because all the colors make sense together but all the colors are somehow my favorites this is how this video is gonna it's where this video is gonna get really hard to me because there is a dual chrome multi chrome here you have a, your two topper shades all the shimmers are really special and unique and even the neutral isn't a boring neutral it has something to tell this color sorry just it I record a three looks one palette with this palette here but I promise you I can create 100 more looks with this one here this is how much this color story inspires me and I will say that my favorite color is of course the favorite of everyone which is the shade euphoric the shade euphoric it's like a pink to green it's like a coral pink terracotta to green it's so beautiful and unique and as shimmer oh yeah as matte i wanna i wanna i wanna use this one here because this color here somehow is so unique and not everybody do this kind of color and this kind of color is the perfect blue shade it doesn't have any green it doesn't have any purple it's just a straight up perfect blue and i love this one here so much so i'm gonna swatch it for you thank me later and here you go this is the color story that i created this is the color story that i created for you swatching all my favorite shadows in the beauty bay palette and as a color story you know what if they launch this palette i will probably buy and be like we really did an inner corner highlighter because i didn't swatch any inner corner highlighter but you have all your grungy beautiful craziness and a pop of blue and when it comes to shimmers you have neutrals and colorful I like this color story, not my best work of course, but really fun. Let me know down below if you liked this kind of content, I feel that it's really unique. It's a way to rank the palette without just being, yeah, I like this color story more than this other one. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if I have this much of Beauty Bay palette, it's because I really do enjoy their formula, at least so far i really enjoyed their color stories and their formulas not every color story is perfect for everyone not you know and not every color story is perfect for me but the formula it's such a pleasure to work with that i think that i gonna continue on buying them if they do their party formula in their palettes because I really miss those in the reckless romance I was like where are the sparkle I need sparkle yeah but by the way this is the end of this video and see you soon bye bye